Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out Speed Limit UI. So if you've ever wanted to like a little speed limit icon in your map, this is the resource for you. Um, it takes the speed limit from another resource, um, but obviously it is not dependent because it says it's not dependent. So we're not going to install the other resource. We are just going to install this one. So we're going to go to the GitHub link on that resource page, which is also linked down in the description below. And then I'm just going to go ahead and download the latest source code, open this up with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open up your files. Now, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. In terms of finding your resources folder, if you're on Zap Hosting, you'll have to connect with FTP. If you are on the old method of creating a server, it would be in your server data resources folder. Or if you are on the newer method with TX Admin, it would be in your TX data folder. And then wherever you see all your resources, this is where we're going to go ahead and drag in this overall resource and what you're going to do is you're just going to remove that dash 1.0 at the end you're not going to rename anything else about the resource you're going to keep it fw speed limit just how it is right there go to your server.cfg edit it with notepad plus plus and add ensure the name of the resource fw speed limit just like that go ahead and save and now when you start up your server as long as you see started resource fw speed limit you know you are good to go it's that simple very easy resource to install let's hop in game and check it out all right, so now that we are in game here, you can see over on the left hand side, it's actually above my map in this case. Um, and the reason it's above the map in this case is because I'm running this on a uh, wider monitor with 4K rather than just your normal resolution. Um, so you can obviously modify this by modifying the index.html and your index.csc by modifying the width, height, and then the location, which is pulled from the um, class for all of the CSS code. So you can just change these to your needs. Um, I'm not going to do it in this video because obviously this is just a quick install. Most people won't need to modify it. If you do need to modify it and you run into problems, please go ahead and ask the resource author over on their Discord. They include a link on the resource page so you can get support with the resource. Anyway, that is it for today. Hopefully you did enjoy and I will see you in a few days for the next video. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your week. Bye everyone. Time. I think Santa's gonna come and join us in this song oh, yeah. Yeah.